Hi, welcome to the September 2022 news and announcements. On this video, we will be covering figures open for pre-orders. A quick note, I won't be pre-ordering every figure in this video. Alright, let's go. First up, we have the pop-up parade of Wayner. I love an action pose, and this will go well with the pop-up parade Levi. Next up, we have a scale figure of Conan from Naluto. This is a really cool figure. The base even lights up. Just like all those details on her wings. We have a one six step of Naluto, the immortal mode. This also has a emet where it glows. I check out all those details on Naluto. Even the pole stages on his back and all the effects going off and want the paint on the ground. Move on to some Demon Slayer. We have the Oppa Knight, Hashila, Pop Up Parade, some cool figure at Zero. We have Nezuko, adult demon form. There's gonna be quite a few adult Nezuko figures coming out now. Check out all those effects. A rare exciting one, they have a Ducky and Giotalo figure at zero. Check them out. I guess essentially this is like two figures. So this is this price at $134.99 and due for release in 2023 as well. Sega has expanded the figurism figure line to Demon Slayer. They have a Tanjiro from the Entertainment Art District, aka Season 2. I love the expression and his pose and that the base is a rooftop. For the $899 is quite a big price jump compared to $2699 for brand presto price figures. We also have an open nine, a Shila meeting patching figure, as well as a Mitchila patching figure. We have Muluta, it's okay if you don't remember this character, he appeared quite early in the series. We also have an Tanjiro prize figure, this time in a more neutral pose, hold down sword, quite different to the volume one version. Moving on to some Jujutsu Kaisen, we have Panda from Artifacts J. We now have quite a few of the second year students in the 1F Artifacts J figure line. I do like how the Panda's base is black. We're not sure everyone who's fan of the pose. A new price figure line from Sega, Graffiti Cross Battle. We got Yuji covered in paint. It's a nice splash of colors for these figures. That's generally the Jujutsu Kaisen figures are pretty plain and one colored. Here you have the Megumi version, wearing all green and covering some green splatter. And we're liking the Nobala one, just in her pose, and then the way she's holding the brushes, and her gojo being very casual. Man, we're liking how bright these figures are. And here are Maki, <laughs> just love how the paint almost become a cipher. We have Toge, we're liking how he's almost doing almost a like ninja pose and check out the panda keychain he has. And here we have Panda. I just love how happy he is and all the color paint he's covered in. We have Megumi from the new line Jujutsu no Wasa and woohoo! We have a Togro figure for the Juko no Kata line. This is a Nobala for Kingdom Artists. Now we have three of them. Okay, awesome. Has her weapons in her hand. This is a Gojo from Freein, one fourth scale. This is from the Jujutsu Kaisen movie Zero version. It's due for release in January 2024. Moving on to some more pop-up parade from Good Smart Company. We have Mikey from Tokyo Revenger. Man, looking so good. Details on so crisp. For, for the overseas edition on the back, it, it does have some attacks that have taken out the Buddhist symbol. So, so that's something to bear in mind. You may be able to get the full version from Army Army, but I can't say for sure. There's a Dragon Khan Kingdom of Artists figure as well, in a very dramatic pose. And there's also a Hakai figure, the gang is really growing. We also have Asuka from the Aphrodite Gang movies. My Hero Academia prize figures, we have a Nidoria and a Bakugo. I have another new figure line, loving the effects they have. And Bakugo looking so chilled. We have a Tomula DXF figure, loving how he looks like he has wings behind him. We have another Togia prize figure, this time is in a more standing pose, with a different to version 1, was in, in a more swinging pose. This is from Bellfire, one of the figure, costing $184.99. So, a bit pricey, but the details look great, and he's showing off his power as well. And, and the final one, but not the least, we have Milum from That Time I Love Wind as a Slime anime series. This is from Priestor Wings, one seventh scale. But check out those details. I just love the look of the honey in the, the slime slash moo 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 being squashed. It even comes with alternate parts where you can change out the hands for paws and the legs for paws as well. And then with different expression. Well, that concludes the news for pre order. If you have been finding useful, please give it a like. Alright, see you next video. Bye.